Hi. What's your name? My name's Emmanuel Rodriguez. Okay, and what did you do? I got second at the uh, BCF uh, Shop Challenge. Okay, perfect. What that were you playing? I was playing Gura. Good, any shout outs that you want to give out as well? Yes, shout out to my team, EJ Gaming. Um, uh, and shout out to my brother, uh, who's my testing partner. So we pretty much test everything. Um, uh, that's how we, uh, that's how we win. Uh, <laughs> that's how we okay. win everything. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Practice does make best. So uh, let's get into the deck profile then. All right then. So I was playing Gura. So first for the one ofs. Uh, it's pretty standard, everyone plays one. She's important because this deck has a problem uh, accessing cards from the graveyard sometimes um, uh, without the climax combo, so that's why she's pretty good. Also, the bounce ability is pretty re uh, relevant, especially against uh, decks like Azur Lane, where they, uh, if they're playing that level th uh, level zero uh, 4K, 45, 4-5K combo, just bounce the back card and then you just kill their stuff. Um, uh, this is against standby. You know, when it dies, locks. When it uh, comes into play, locks. This is uh, for mid game when uh, you're going to have this deck has a, has a little bit of a problem. This is that sometimes you have way too many hand cards, and if you check some some uh, different types of climaxes, you know you're going to end up with more cards in hand, and you're going to have to end up discarding. So it's better to just preemptively um, uh, lower your hand size down to around six, you know, before a big swing. You know, if you're anticipating that kind of situation, this is really the tech card, the spice. Um, uh, this is how you beat uh, chainsaw. Um, uh, and all those disgusting green decks. You just play this and uh, yeah, just get rid of their cost zeros. And that's how you break the 10K board. <laughs> Literally, no problems. And this is a card that some people, some lists cut, some lists uh, don't play, but I absolutely think that not, not playing this card is a mistake. Um, uh, this, uh, this is crazy because this pumps your field, right? Um, uh, and then on top of that, um, uh, she's an extra hand card. That's what, that's what people don't understand. Like. Like this card, the fact that it goes back to your hand is super relevant, you know, especially with this card, you know, you just, you know, this is where you want to be. You know, you ideally want these and then you want to put these away in your stock. Okay. Like that's, that's how you do that. Um, uh, that's how I always have a lot of stock. And obviously uh, my 3,500 attacker in mid position, she's only at three because people usually never kill her. And now um, uh, with a chainsaw, they'll usually bottom her. So I'm usually end up having to like kill this myself just to get cards you know so you know i'm I, I wouldn't i would keep it at three i wouldn't even up it um uh climax swapper you gotta have it at four sees the top two and trigger as well yeah uh mvp uh this card is just you know it gets you the climax combo and it also allows you to play uh to use as little hand cards as possible yes it's you know a little heavy on the fact that it hits you for damage but you know, sometimes you get people out of nowhere where you just, you know, just double this and then, you know, they don't see it coming, you know, and you just take a game out of nowhere. Um, uh, climax swap or, or Climax Combo Level 1, pretty good, but it's like a double-edged sword. You have to really uh, keep uh, accountability of how many uh, Climaxes you have in Grave Hand, you know, your deck. And uh, even though, you know, luck is luck, but you really do need to have, like, your numbers set. You know, you, you really want to, you really want to know you know how many how many climaxes in what are the probabilities at least that's the way i play it you know and uh more times than not it works out uh -huh. the brainstormer nothing to say it's a brainstormer level one it pumps that's pretty irrelevant since it's just on your turn and this yeah. is not going to really break board sometimes um uh, my backups this backup's insane this backup is like i don't know i have mixed feelings about this backup um uh it was good one time, and I did win the game because of it, but it's so situational, and I, I don't know. I mean, I think I would rather have a second one of this, just because people are having so many earlies, and Chainsaw is so relevant, you know, and blowing up their early is just so, so punishing for them. Oh, yes. You know, be, so I'm probably just going to cut this and just, just make these two the same climax, or the same backup, to be honest. Stock swapper, gotta have it, especially for those decks that are trying to amass a, a ton of stock. You know, you just do this double Gura GG, you know. Um, uh, Calliope, same thing, double Gura, Calliope, uh, GG, you know, go home. Mm -hmm. uh, that's really powerful. Yeah. I play two of the, uh, of the stock swapper, just in oh, case. Yeah. yeah. Two Calliope. 
uh, two of the early, um, some lists play three. I don't really like to play three of this. I can get this in my hand at any point in the game that I desire. So I would rather just play two because uh, this is the card that's actually uh, very relevant for some matchups because the fact that they cannot use backups and this is 14K, you know, is, is huge, you know. Sometimes you just need the no backup 14K. And, you know, so this card is, is, is important. You know, it's important. Um, uh, obviously, the reason you win this game, you know, Guru, kind of hard to set up three, um, uh, but, you know, usually two Calliope, uh, you know, it's, it's going to do the trick. And the Climaxes. The changes that I would make to the deck, uh, probably swap the the, climb, the the backup, probably make the second one. Uh, Got to test more with, the, uh, with this yellow card um, uh, for the meta, because two's pretty good um uh gotta but you know uh i gotta think about it because uh standby is really uh not as uh relevant right now i mean yeah it's nice to have this but realistically the amount of times that you're going to be searching that you know is gonna be low unless you you know prioritize it with your uh, climax combo so you gotta test it gotta test and see what's going on okay perfect so, uh, anything else that you might want to add about the deck or anything? No, that's it. I mean, it's just the Chainsaw matchup is probably your hardest matchup. So you have to really, uh, you have to really know what your plan is, you know, based on how they're playing. You know, if they're playing for maximizing their Climax combos and laying little, little, you know, very little cards in hand and trying to just push a little bit of damage, then, you know, you have to, you have to try to hit level three first. You know, that's how you, that's your goal. You should be trying to hit level three, three zero, ideally, and then, you know, you finish it out. That's how you, that's how you win. You know, if you, if you let them hit level three first, you you could maybe win but this deck has such poor deck manipulation outside of the climax combo turn one that you're most likely going to die if you let them triple finisher you um, uh, so i would highly encourage you to to try to get level three first okay perfect that's about it all right guys uh thanks for the uh for the profile and i hope you guys win okay.